A new year has begun and with it comes an entirely new lineup of new anime to watch. Most people however go to school or have a job and therefore just do not have the required time to watch every single new anime out there and judge whether or not it's good. That's where I come in. While you were busy being a functioning member of society, I went out of my way to skip every single college class imaginable just so I can make your insignificant life on this dying planet just a little bit more bearable. I went through every single anime that looks even remotely decent and will spoon feed you exactly what is and what isn't worth your precious time. Some of you might look at this and say that others have already done this or that I am late, but I'm not late, the others are just early. I purposely waited until every anime reached at least 3 episodes, because after 3 episodes you can get a good feel for the quality and direction of a show. It is very common to see some kind of twist or turn around the third episode that changes your perception of the show entirely. Speaking of third episode twists, Madoka is back. I honestly had no idea whether or not this one would be any good, since a big portion of the appeal from the original stemmed from the difference between expectation and reality. But after watching the first couple of episodes, I actually think that it is surprisingly decent. I don't think it will ever reach the same heights as the original did, but it is still an enjoyable experience. Watch this if you enjoyed the original, but do not get your hopes up too much. If you haven't watched the original, stop wasting your time on shitty seasonal anime and watch that one instead. From the makers of cute girls doing cute things, we now bring you cat girls doing cat things. I've personally never played Nekopara the game before, so I honestly don't know if they did a good job adaptating it. But from what I can tell, it seems like a nice, wholesome, family friendly show. Huh? W what do you mean Nekopara is a hentai game? Wait, for real? What the fuck? I swear, I didn't fuck my cat. I didn't come on my cat. I didn't put my dick anywhere near my cat. Since the mail page lists the anime as PG-13, I'm going to assume it's safe to watch and it won't mean you will be put on some kind of watch list, but I can't make any promises. The fourth season of Haikyuu is upon us, and if you haven't seen the previous seasons, you obviously won't be watching this one either. I'm not gonna tell you to start watching the first season now, since this is supposed to be a seasonal anime guide, and I already told you to watch Madoka, so um... All I'm going to say is that there is a good reason that volleyball stonks in Japan are on the rise. Speaking of rising, I went into Interspecies Reviewers only knowing that it was some kind of edgy anime and came out of it feeling like I can't go to heaven anymore. People like making the I can't believe it's not hentai joke a lot, to the point that it's honestly not even funny anymore, but holy shit I cannot believe this isn't hentai. I'm pretty sure this show is the second closest thing to hentai we will ever get in our entire lifetimes. Only being beaten out by interspecies reviewers, uncensored edition. So basically the entire premise of this show is that there is this friend group who like to review prostitutes. And I think that's all you really need to know. This show also is unironically really funny. Depending on the person you ask, this is either the best or the worst anime they've ever seen. It's only January and I feel like some people already found their anime of the decade. The Rise of the Shield Lolly is a cute show about a girl who's new to playing VR MMOs. She does not like pain and therefore puts all her stats into defense. Through the power of hard work, determination, a shit ton of luck, but most importantly, abysmal game design, she somehow becomes incredibly overpowered almost instantly. If a underleveled, inexperienced player can pull off a 1v2000 without taking a single point of damage, I think there may be a problem there. The people in charge of developing this game have to be some of the most incompetent game developers out there, only being slightly better than the developers of Overwatch. Overall, it's just your standard cute girls doing cute things anime. But instead of drinking tea or going camping, she eats a living dragon and commits genocide. Wait, this this is supposed to be a cute show, right? Right? <laughs> Yeah, 
If you can ignore the terrible game design, the show honestly isn't half bad. It's got solid voice acting and surprisingly good animation. I'd recommend it if you are the kind of person who likes light-hearted shows. Torohedoro really does live up to his horror tech. Not even one episode in and I already feel like I'm about to throw up. I mean, just look at that CG! Ugh. Jokes aside, the show really is... special. For starters, the main character is a caiman, who's actually quite human on the inside. Literally. It seems fairly interesting, so if you are the kind of person who likes gore, you might actually enjoy this. Personally, I'm allergic to CG, so I think I'll have to pass. Keep Your Hands of Eizouka is probably one of the better shows of this season, yet I honestly wouldn't be able to tell you what's so good about it. I don't know whether it's the art style, the fluidity, the world building or a little bit of everything, but this one really does feel special. It's like comparing a Hollywood blockbuster to an Oscar nominated movie. Somehow they always have this different feeling to them that I honestly can't really put into words since I'm neither a critic nor a reviewer. All I can say is that it's a very imaginative show and you should probably give it a shot. Especially if you are somewhat interested in animation. This video is getting way too long so I'm going to speedrun the rest of it. Somali Tomori no Kamisama is a show about a forest guardian and a lost child on a journey to find their parents. It's a very aesthetically pleasing show and the fact that they journey the world means that you get to experience a lot of nice looking sceneries. A slow paced atmospheric show for those who don't need high stakes or tournament arcs to have a good time. ID Invaded is a show about this Rayman looking motherfucker tasked with trying to make sense out of the Black Ops 3 campaign. Basically a detective tries to solve cases by throwing himself into a world which is a reflection of the killer's mind. It's an interesting concept to be honest. This is the kind of show where it becomes a problem to give recommendations too early. The more episodes come out and the more information is revealed, it becomes very clear that the first episode is just the tip of the iceberg. It's pretty good, watch it if you like mystery series. Rikeko is a show about scientists trying to define love. It's a funny wholesome show and probably one of my favorites of the season. I recommend this one to anyone who doesn't despise rom-coms, especially to those who enjoyed Kaguya-sama. In the making of this video I've literally watched more than a dozen shows and to my surprise my favorite one can be found all the way at the bottom of the list. Smile Down the Runway is a story about an aspiring fashion model held back by her height and an aspiring fashion designer held back by his financial situation and lack of experience. It's honestly really good, especially the third episode had me on the edge of my seat. I promise you that just like something like Haikyuu, you don't actually need to have an interest in fashion to enjoy this. I don't know how many people will end up watching this video since I am a very small channel, but if anyone does watch this video this far, I highly recommend you to at least give it a chance. Overall this season has a lot of decent shows, but nothing really outstanding. If I had to rate the season on a scale from 1 to 10, I'd give it a... meh. Next season seems like it will be a lot better, so I might do one then as well, who knows. Anyway, that's everything for this video. If I forgot this show, it's probably because I didn't think it was worth mentioning. So with that, my job is officially done. You're welcome. Oh, my God.